A night of music and dancing turns to terror as a gunman opens fire inside a crowded Mexican nightclub during a music festival. Video on social media shows patrons inside scrambling to find cover while others charge for the exits. Five people would die in the violence, including two Canadians. And one of those two killed sometimes worked here at this nightclub right behind me as a bouncer. And he had worked in many hot spots right across the city, including in union and government. His name was Kirk Wilson, and many in the music industry in mourning tonight. I'm going to remember his smile. Uh, Kirk was really one of those giants that you remember in life. He was one of Toronto's guardians of the music scene. Kirk Wilson, a longtime bouncer and security guard confirmed by his colleagues to be among the dead. He worked at a number of Toronto venues spanning more than two decades. His good reputation led to him being handpicked by organizers of the BPM festival to stand guard. I was I was very shocked. I'm still shocked right now to be honest with you. Wilson killed early Monday while working for the GTA-owned music festival in Playa del Carmen. Five people were killed inside the Blue Parrot nightclub when a gunman opened fire, including two Canadians. BPM festival organizers confirmed three security guards died trying to stop him. A blow to those in Toronto's music industry who came to know the gentle giant, including DJ Tricky Morera. I think he was... Uh doing his job in a manner that uh, was to protect people that were inside the venue at the time. We saw at least five, six people injured around us. Calgary resident Alexander Samardija was inside the Blue Parrot when the gunfire erupted. I saw several people get hit. Uh, when we were coming out, the bouncer was definitely dead on the floor that worked right by the gate. And I saw a bunch of other people that were wounded. Uh, I don't know if they were deceased. Wilson also worked for several years as a security guard for players at the Rogers Cup. Standing out among the stars to our own Danielle Michaud, who was once a member of the ball crew. I'd known him for over a decade. I saw him every summer uh, at the Rogers Cup. He was working exclusively on the team that dealt with the players. Uh, and for a man of his stature, it's easily, you know, it's easy to be intimidated by someone like that. And there was no one who was more warm and kind-hearted and treated everyone uh, with a lot of respect. He was in tune with himself, but he was also in tune with everybody around him. So many tonight missing the bouncer who never missed a beat. I don't know how to take it um, because you're used to seeing somebody all the time. You're used to joking around with them, you know. Um, you're used to sharing conversations and stories, and then now you kind of have to deal with that person not being there anymore.